So which side of my face has the $47 foundation? And which side of my face is wearing the $15 foundation? Can you guess? So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the brand new It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Natural Matte Foundation. I've been testing this out for the last three days and I couldn't wait to share my results. And today I'm gonna to compare it to the Elf Camel Hydrating CC Cream. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. I have been really busy this week and I couldn't wait to share with you my results with the new It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Natural Matte Foundation. Now this just recently launched and I was really excited about it because it's supposed to combat humidity, it has an SPF of 40, it's full coverage, it's color correcting and pore refining. But then I was in the shower this morning and I was like, wait a minute. Could this be a dupe to the e.l.f. Camel Hydrating CC Cream? Now the difference between these two, one is an SPF 40, which is the IT Cosmetics, and the e.l.f. has an SPF of 30. This one is $47 and it comes in 30 shades. Surprisingly enough, the e.l.f. comes in 30 shades as well, but it only retails for $15. This one is supposed to be hydrating, but this is promising to be hydrating as well. And it's supposed to contain a skin balancing serum. So that's what was really interesting to me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now I've already done my morning skincare routine and I've taken the liberty to apply my primer. Now I've been testing out this foundation from IT Cosmetics for the last three days. I've been taking notes, making sure it's actually worth $47. $47 is a lot of money and I wanted to see how it would compare with the e.l.f. camo. So on the right side of my face today, I primed with the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. Now you know that's my holy grail. It really smooths out the pores and it also includes Bacuccio, which is a skincare ingredient so it leaves it nice and soft. It smooths out the pores but at the same time it's hydrating. Now on my right side, that's my left side. So on my left side, which is your right side, I actually primed my skin with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum. Since the IT Cosmetics is a matte foundation, and I know we get a little <gasps> matte foundation for mature skin, I wanted to have more of a glowy complexion to see if it would peek through. Now this is ideal for combination and oily skin types. Now if you're new to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin, I have hyperpigmentation, redness, and I live in the deep south where it tends to get super humid here, so I thought this would be a great foundation for those hot summer months where you want an SPF and also full coverage. Think outdoor wedding. Think outdoor wedding. Yes. It's supposed to deliver hydrating, full coverage, 16 hour shine control and sun protection without the white cast. It's sweat proof and humidity proof and it's dermatologist and allergy tested. So let's go ahead and apply this. I just did one pump and I'm in the shade light. It's got a thick consistency, almost like a lotion. So let's go ahead and swatch it. And I must say, my word of advice, if you're purchasing this foundation, you definitely wanna be in store swatching it because, oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna be light warm. It was so dark. It's very deceiving online, the shades. So I suggest you go in store and swatch it and see what is the best shade match for you. But this is light and it's neutral. Oh my gosh, this, it does feel rather thick. Now remember, this is full coverage and I think I put on way too much. Oh, way too much. Ah! I'm gonna go in with my IT Cosmetics brush, stipple it in. Now, I did wear this yesterday to the Corgi Parade. We brought Faye and Ava came with us. We had so much fun, and I will be sure to share that footage with you in case you wanna see a bunch of Corgis. 136 Corgis were at this parade, and Faye went and she had her little costume on, but it was so much fun. I did test out this foundation all day at that Corgi Parade, and it was warm and it was sunny. But so far, this is really, really pretty. Pretty good. I still have plenty on the back of my hand. It's pretty much a waste from here because you don't need a lot of foundation if you wanna get full coverage, which is kind of nice. So less is more definitely in this case. Now I'm gonna to go to the e.l.f. Camel Hydrating CC Cream. This is in the shade Light 205N. That is one pump. 
This is a hair more serum-y. I know that It Cosmetics is supposed to be a skin balancing serum as well, but this one really feels more hydrating. But let's go ahead and swatch it. Now, I don't like the original CC cream from e.l.f., but this one is absolutely beautiful. This one just glides right on. But I'm just using my Sigma Kabuki brush just to stipple it in. I have always loved this CC Camo Cream. It is so pretty. This is the e.l.f. and this is the IT Cosmetics. Mm, they look pretty similar, don't they? I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some concealer. Since we're testing out full coverage foundations today, I'm going to be using my favorite under eye color corrector and this is the Dermatology Luminous Eye Corrector. It was a long day yesterday and I can feel, I feel like my under eye area is super dry and kind of parched. I'm just gonna tap it in with my ring finger and blend it out. One of you guys kindly reminded us all don't rely on your foundation or skin tint that contains an SPF. You always want to go in with your SPF prior to applying your makeup. So thank you for sharing that tip. And I love it when you guys make suggestions like that because it helps all of us out. And then for concealer today, I'm using the Say Slip Tint Concealer. You know I've been loving this recently. It's just a wonderful, lightweight, medium coverage concealer that really does brighten up that area. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It's super hydrating, especially if you have a drier under eye area like I do. And I just, I'm just gonna tap it in. It provides medium coverage. And I find the combination of the color corrector and this concealer is really nice full coverage. Then I'm gonna take a dampened beauty sponge and just tap it. definitely brightened up that under eye area. And it's not thick or cakey, even though I'm using two products. One is gonna color correct and one is just going to add a little bit more coverage to really brighten up that area. I think it's such a winning combination. Okay, this is looking really nice. The complexion looks juicy, even though this is a matte foundation. It still looks glowy on the complexion. Since this is a matte foundation, I'm going to go in with the cream bronzer. I'm going to be using today the CL Sculpt and Protect SPF 30. This is a sculpting slash bronzer and I picked it up during the Sephora sale. I love this. It is so pretty and I'm just going to go on my brush and I'm going to apply it to both sides. Add a little more warmth and sculpt out my cheekbones. It bronzes and contours at the same time. It is magical. And it really blends in effortlessly. Plus it has an SPF of 30. Bronzer is on, works amazing with both foundations. Didn't lift it up on the e.l.f. side. It didn't lift it up on the it side. I'm gonna call it the it side. <laughs> and now for blush. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in the shade Rosé. Is it called Rosé? Dusty Rosé. Love this blush. Amazing pigment, and you only need to apply one dot. And I'm gonna apply it right there and just use my fingertips to tap it in. I've been really loving this shade, particularly for everyday looks. And then on the it side, we'll go ahead and apply one dot. Now, I noticed when I used this particular liquid camo blush from e.l.f. on the IT Cosmetics side, it did fade after about 10 to 12 hours. So when I wore it, this foundation and tested it out yesterday at the Corgi Parade, I applied a liquid blush and then I topped it off with a powdered blush. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna add a smidgen, and when I say smidgen, a smidgen of powder blush on top of this just to set that camo blush. And I'm going in with the Benefit Cosmetics Powder Blush in the shade Pom Pom. This is a beautiful color. And we're only gonna take a tiny bit just to set that blush in place so it doesn't move. Think of the powder blush as a setting powder. Complexion products are on, everything is looking juicy, even though this is a matte foundation. I mean, they've got that skin balancing serum in there, so there might be something to it. This also contains an ingredient called Air Lysium. I'm sorry, that sounds made up. It's supposed to create an instant skin blurring effect, absorbs and reduces the look of shine. The skin still looks luminous though, and not drying whatsoever. 
but they both look the same to me. I don't know, this is crazy, but what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup. We're gonna go out in natural daylight and I will give you my final thoughts on this foundation, matte foundation at that. And here we are with the final look. Now I just did an easy one and done eyeshadow look using the Ulta Beauty bouncy eyeshadow in the shade coffee cake one of you wanted to see what it looked like in action and i absolutely love this bouncy cream eyeshadow it goes on so smooth and it doesn't create any texture on your lid and it's super easy to tap in with your fingertip and just blend it out with a simple brush but i find it just adds that beautiful definition that you need on your eye just to make your eyes pop but yes absolutely beautiful the coffee cake bouncy eyeshadow from Ulta Beauty. I think this retails for about $9, maybe less, but I'll be sure to put all the products in the links listed down below. Now, if you do click on those links, it does help out my channel a little bit, but if you don't, that's super cool too. That's fine. But yeah, absolutely recommend this easy one and done eyeshadow from Ulta Beauty. And then for lips, I just lined my lips with the Natasha Denona lip liner and went in with the Sephora plumping gloss in the shade shade two. I wanted the focal point to be the complexion. What do you think you guys? I think this is a beautiful matte foundation. Now remember it does contain an SPF of 40. It does contain that skin balancing serum, that ingredient air lysium that's supposed to blur the pores. And I'm ready to give you my final thoughts on how this foundation actually performs over a three day intensive study of what I've done. Now the first day, and I'm gonna put some pictures up here and include some video. On the first day, I used absolutely no primer. It was pretty much at the end of the day, but I just applied it without any primer and it looked so pretty. Now remember, if you're going to purchase this foundation, definitely swatch it in store because online they are so misleading. I thought it would be like light medium. It was so dark, I was shocked when I tried it on in the store. It just did not look right. So I had to go a shade that I thought that I wouldn't be light neutral. And it does look a little pale on my skin, but as you can see, it does kind of match my neck. Second day, I went in with my Holy Grail primer, which is the Wet n Wild Prime Focus. I really pushed it to the limit that day. It was about 12 hours when I filmed this, and it did something completely strange on my complexion. It was still smoothing. You know when you tile a bathtub with the tiles and the grout? It was smooth, like smooth grout, but you could see, how do I explain this? Like I'm making sense. It was still smooth, but you could see where the foundation actually settled into each of my pores, but still smooth. But like I said, it looks like after you grout tile, you know what I'm saying? It's so weird. Maybe it was the primer. So then on the third day, the day we went to the Corgi Parade, I knew it was gonna be a long day. I applied my makeup at 8.30 in the morning because the, the event started at 10. This is where I first applied the foundation. However, since it is a matte foundation, I did go in with the Glowier Primer, and that was when I used the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum. For some reason, that was the actual magic primer that helped. It lasted all day long. It didn't do that weird tile grout separation on my pores. It kept my skin luminous, but it did fantastically well with that particular primer, and that primer was the Danessa Myricks. Now, today, of course, I'm in the shower and I'm like, I bet this could compare to the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo CC Cream. Did I say that right? And I think I'm right. Oh my gosh. It has the same amount of coverage. Now, granted, this is an SPF 40 and this is an SPF 30, but the e.l.f. side feels so much more hydrating. It's a little bit more luminizing. It does contain the tremella mushroom as well as the hyaluronic acid. This one boasts more blurring. I, you know what? I, <laughs> I've got texture. I've got pores. I have fine lines. So I did notice, I believe on the second day that it did settle quite a bit in this laugh line, but you know what? It's got to go somewhere, right? We all have texture and lines, but for $47, 30 shades, SPF of 40. It is very beautiful. It is pretty, but if you don't want to spend the $47 and you want to get the same full coverage effect that's hydrating, 
you may want to go with the e.l.f. However, if your complexion tends to run a little bit more oily, you may really love the, the IT Cosmetics. I'm just saying. Now, I know in the summertime, it's going to get super hot and humid, and I will probably use this because it is actually helping my oils balance out. I did set it a couple of times with the Laura Mercier Ultra Blurring Pressed Powder. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And maybe that contributed to the factor of when I had that tile grout situation on the second day. Perhaps I applied too much powder, but here's the thing. If you're going to try a new foundation, let's say upon my recommendation, you have got to try it several different ways, several different primers, just like I did, because what works for me may not necessarily work for you. But I really did research this product, try different products with it to see what is the best result for me. And for me, the best result using a primer, using a very hydrating, glowy primer, so my skin is still luminous and pretty. Very minimal on the powder, on pr using pressed powder because it is a matte foundation. I did like going in with a liquid blush and a cream bronzer for adding a little bit more juiciness back into the complexion. I think it's beautiful. And like I said, I would definitely recommend this to my friends who have an oilier complexion. If you're like me and you have normal to dry skin and you want something a little more hydrating, but also full coverage, that's not gonna budge all day long, definitely go with the e.l.f. Camel Hydrating CC Cream. It's way more affordable. It's absolutely fantastic that they both come in 30 shades. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. But for now, mwah. mahal kita. I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Relax your mind. Another boozy memory is knocking at the door. Say no, leave it behind. There's no gray in the sky. Just begun